to upcycle an old cardigan. Okay, what we need for this project today is an old cardigan or a jumper. We need some wool. Try not to get wool that's too thick if your jumper's quite closely knitted. Now that wool you need to cut up into kind of a large two inch strips, so maybe two and a quarter long strips. Do loads and loads of those and you definitely need a latch hook which is one of these things and it's got this open and close bit there. Now you might have already worked out what we're going to do to our cardigan. I think the latch hook is a bit of a giveaway. Um, basically what I'm hoping to be able to do is to kind of do like a, a rug effect on the front of the cardigan. Now like I said before you need to cut up your wool into these um, strips which I think mine are, mine are about two inches which is one two three four or five centimeters so I had to split my wool but if you don't buy such enormously chunky wool like I have you'll be all right so I'm just twisting it around just to make it a bit thinner so I'm making a loop I'm putting it over the latch hook and I'm going in and out of the jumper. I think I'm probably mm, a quarter of an inch, sort of half a centimetre away from the other one. And what's important is that I push it in and out of the jumper so I go past that open and closey bit. Now, whilst closing that open and closed bit, I've got to make sure it traps the wall. And you'll see it sort of closes like that. Now I thought if I could just keep going all over the front of the cardigan, creating a kind of shaggy pile effect, it might look quite good. Now it's really important that you, you catch enough of the um, cardigan, the knitted stuff, when you poke it through. So look, I'm going there. I'm making sure the door's closed before and then I pull it back through like that. Now I think that's quite good. Now I don't know how long this is going to take me to do. I imagine it's going to take me ages and ages but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it for about an hour and then I'll show you how much I've done after an hour of working on it. Right I just wanted to show you what I've done and this is after 15 minutes so I was getting a bit impatient I just needed to show you so I've managed to do this much in 15 minutes and what happens is as you go along you kind of get a bit of a rhythm going on definitely I would say to leave between each latch hook thing about a centimeter a small half inch and definitely when you go in and out you want about two mils of the knitted stuff but I mean it's kind of quite nice like this too okay this is after about 25 minutes I've managed to do two rows but I'm going to still keep going right this is after about an hour so I think I've done four rows have I about four rows and this is after ages I've lost track of time it could be about maybe hour and a half two hours I'm a real pro at this now so I've kind of changed the method a little bit all you do you go in and you catch a good amount of that knitted stuff because otherwise it seems to just make a hole in it and then I'm pushing it over that thing that I was calling a door there and then I'm wrapping my strip around it trapping it in the door and really giving it a tug to pull it through. Now I've only got that much to do. So look at that. I love it so much. Look at it. But I've got to say, this is hours later and I have actually only covered one side. Now I'm choosing not to do it at the back because I like the look of it not being at the back. Uh, but I did want this kind of all over rug, although it's starting to look a bit like fur. Now I would say, if I was doing it again, 
I would chalk out some lines because it's quite reassuring to have some lines as a guide and if you're trying to make it symmetrical on both sides make sure you do up the buttons whilst you're doing it because then you can sort of see more easily. Now I would love to see your latch hook. Cardigans, jumpers, how about doing it around the hem of a skirt? Thanks a lot for watching. See you again soon. Bye.